Welcome back for another edition of Edelbrock Live. I'm here with Eric again. And on today's episode, we're going to be talking about our newest, uh, one of our newer systems that we have, our ProFlow 4 uh, control management, engine control management system for the uh, LS platform. Uh, this is an affordable engine management solution for your Gen 3 and Gen 4 junkyard engines. Yeah, it's a really cool. I mean, this is a really neat system because I know there's a lot of guys out there that are pulling engines out of, you name it, old trucks of the junkyard. Oh, yeah. Camaros, you name it, whatever's whatever's gone and died at the junkyard, they're pulling that motor out and um, and starting to use them. I mean, they've been using them for years for builds. It oh, seems yeah. like you know, at least LS. I'll start with the LS one. Um, I got a buddy that's got two five threes sitting on a floor right now, getting ready to go into vehicles. Yep. So he's like pumped over this. So what this is, it's a really neat. It's a really kind of compact style system that's got all the harness. It's got the O2 sensor that you would need to watch. And also it's got, we sell it with and without the tablet, an ECU that's water resistant. And what this allows you to do is take one of those junkyard motors, um, you can leave behind the OEM harness, the ECU, all that stuff, and just take this. It all factory coils, injectors, yep. sensors that you need to, and then you can use our e-tuner software to actually set up the engine and run it. And it's got the self-tuning function. Yep. Uh, just like our regular ProFlow 4 kits, it's actually the same stuff that's used on our, our ProFlow 4 kits with our intake manifold and all yeah. the other stuff. So it's really that same software and just tailored for the new engine swap guys. It's really cool. And so Eddie can kind of go into some detail about the tuner software because that's what's really neat, at least I think. I mean, all this stuff, it's, it's just, it's why it's really neat is the combination of the ECU and what the tablet can control with the ECU. Um, and I think one of the coolest things before I flip it to Eddie is that it's wireless. That's what's really neat is, as you yep. can see this ECU, this, there's no need to hook up. So Eddie will kind of pop it here on the background on the screen and kind of give you a rundown of what, when you're inside that wizard, what it looks like. So the cool part about this, like we said, it's the same exact computer system that we use for our EFI systems. It's all self-tuning. I'm right now using my cell phone. And I'm just projecting it on the TV. So it's all Bluetooth connectivity. And the good part is the eTuner app is really easy to use. Um, it's a setup wizard. You answer a couple questions, you know, your engine size, your cam duration, and then uh, for the LS, you don't have to worry about setting your distributor or anything like that. Automatically, you, once you have the O2 sensor installed, you just go ahead and turn on the car and the computer automatically starts learning. The good part about this is you don't need a laptop to actually uh, tune it. The good thing is you do everything through the app. So the cool thing is you could, set, you could actually set up, let me zoom in here so you can check it out. So you could set up your your uh, your tablet as another dashboard. So you could go in there and customize the the layout. It'll tell you your RPMs, your vacuum, your coolant temps, all that kind of stuff. You could do go to a digital one where it gives you a nice layout of everything. And then again, you could customize all these different settings. And then the really fun part is when you start going into the advanced tuning features. So here is where you set all your parameters. You could sit there and set your air fuel ratio at idle, at cruise, at wide open throttle. Um, the cool part about this is, you know, say you're cruising down the freeway and you want to get a little better, better gas mileage. All you have to do is just, you know, if you have a, you know, a passenger, you don't want to be doing it while you're driving. Ooh, but, no. <laughs> you know, if you have a passenger, you just tell them, you know, go ahead and uh, lean it out a little bit, and you do it on the fly. You don't have to pull over. You don't have to stop. Turn on the car. Nothing like that. I mean, it is live as you're doing it. And again, because it's Bluetooth, you don't have to worry about running any wires yep. or anything like that. The great thing too is what I like about being Bluetooth is you can actually. If you've got the ability, which I think there's enough harness here, you can actually hide the ECU somewhere. You yep. don't have to plug in the ECU. And the cool thing beyond that, even cooler, is that you can actually, you know, if you start the car up in your driveway and you want to hear something, you can get out, walk around with your phone or your looking at the data you're getting back. Yeah, I mean, you could be under the hood, you could be adjusting yeah. your idle speed, all that kind of stuff on the fly. So that's the really cool part. Yeah. You know, a lot of these uh, other management systems, it's either wired or you have to have your laptop yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, really, all you need is your cell phone, or if you don't have an Android, this is all. This is only Android based at the moment. So if you don't have an Android phone, if you have an Apple, you could buy it with the tablet as well. Yeah. So again, you could set. A lot of guys like to set it up as a second dashboard, and it's it's kind of cool. You know, you have the, uh, you know, if, if you just have all your your dash and display like this, I mean, that'd be pretty cool. If somebody gets in the car, yeah. you know, kind of blown away. Well, especially in older vehicles, because some of the older vehicles may not have a tack. Yeah, exactly. You know? So you're getting also you're getting a lot more data. As you can see here. You're getting your air fuel ratio, your vacuum, your coolant. So it's a lot of really, you're getting all that data that's running through the system. You have that gives you a lot of visibility. And also, too, with the e-tuner, it allows you to run like um, 
uh, fans. So you can run up to two fans. Yep. So it also controls other stuff, not just the system and the engine per se. It's, yeah, exactly. It's 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 just a combination of everything. It takes it all and it just simplifies it. That way you could go ahead and control your entire engine system. You know. Super cool. I mean. I we have them available. We have four kits available. So those four kits are would be with and without tablet. Like you say, if you already got an existing phone like Eddie does, you don't need the tablet version. You can buy the kit without. And then really beyond there, the only difference is is, is whether you have a 24x reluctor yeah. or a 58. So that's yeah. really like Gen 3 motor versus Gen 4 exactly. LS. So really, that will be priced the same. Um, like your the, with the tablet, you're looking at about 1,400 bucks. Okay. And without the tablet, it's like about hundred dollars less, about thirteen hundred bucks. So really, I mean, for, I think that's a pretty reasonable for a really a complete engine management system yeah. for an engine swap, and a lot easier gives you a lot more control. Because if exactly. you pull, you know, the OE harness and ECU out, well, you got to find a laptop, a tuner. Yeah. This allows you to do it yourself, and with the flexibility of this tool, it allows you to actually you can step back. If you do something wrong, you can yeah. save that tune. You know, turn the car off, reload it, come back, I mean, and it, is, you know, get I feel like this is truly uh, a system for somebody that wants to do it at their own house. They yeah. wanted a true DIY kind of guy. They want to yeah. be able to install the engine themselves and actually go in there and tune it. I mean, you don't have to be a tuner. You literally have to just know how to press a couple buttons and you're ready to go. Yep. And yeah. the only, I think the only things right now that they're holding back are, we, it's not available for drive-by-wire applications, yep. and we do not have a transmission controller, but there's plenty of options out there in the field for yeah. that. Um, but beyond that, like I said, it's, it's pretty much everything you need. And like I said, it's really a lot cleaner install than oh, yeah. dealing with the OE harness. Yeah, um, trying to split that up and split them up, <laughs> pin them back. The guys trying to find ways to. There's a lot here on the table, but really, once you lay it out over an engine, it's really clean and simple. And like I said, the eTuner software, the great thing about that, it's a free application. Yep. So, like I said, if you got an existing phone, you go to the Google Play Store, you can download it. And of course, being an app, you know, down the road, we'll push updates out exactly. for it. I think actually it's in version two or two right now. Yep. So we've already gone through a few versions over the last few years. And this is what we've used in all of our ProFlow 3 kits, as well as our uh, older E Street 1 and 2 systems. Right. So it's a proven out app. This app has been on the market for a while. Um, and we just keep adding to it and making it better. I know the last round we added a lot of additional tuning features for the advanced tuner. So the great thing about this, it's a self-learning system. You can really plug it in, let the, the system learn, and once you get through the setup, but then also too for the advanced guys, there's quite a bit that you can dig into and make changes to. You can adjust your crank fuel. I mean, all that Like I said, the great thing about it, being self-learning, is you can just plug it in. If you want to play with it, go for it, and you know, if they didn't have the engine doesn't like, then step back to your previous calibration or tune, exactly. and you're and you're back on the road. You know, yeah. so so here I'm just taking you through a couple of the different pages. Here's your fan controls. You got your fuel modifier. You know, I mean, again, this is all you could adjust it on the fly. You could always go back to what you had it. I mean, everything everything you really need to pretty much customize the entire the entire system. But like Eric was saying. You don't really have to go in there and adjust anything. I mean, once you set it up, it learns itself, and there you go. Yeah, and the great thing about it is you down the road, say you decide to swap out the cam or put on different heads, again, the self-learning function kicks in. Yep. It sees that you've done something that's modified the engine, and it starts to learn. It normally takes 30 to 40 miles for it to start to kind of yep. pick that stuff up and learn it. But you'd be surprised. I've seen, actually, our, our ProFlow system on dynos where well, they put it right on fresh, off, yep. and that first run is rough, and then the second run, you see it smooth out, and by the third run, yeah. it's sounding great. So the system really learns quickly. Um, our engineers here have done a lot of work on the dyno with different vehicles. We actually have an LS in our, uh, the uh, gold member station wagon, right. is what they tested this on. We so actually just had that one up in uh, Big Bear for the oh, Big Bear Fun Run. Cool. That, and I talked to the calibrator, and uh, she said it, it smooth like silk. I mean, it went up yeah. the hill, no problem with elevation changes, all that stuff, it yeah. automatically did everything. She went in there, looked at some of the parameters, and everything was good. I yeah, mean, that's what's really, really neat about it. Is it's it's like you get get that modern drivability, but the the simplicity of the software. You exactly. know, I think it's it's not intimidating. And we give you like so we have instruction manuals. So we give you everything you need to get set up, and we have dedicated tech support. So yep. should something not go right, or should something is not feeling right, you know, we've got guys available that specialize just in this product that you can reach on the phone. Exactly. So I mean, it's a that's a great solution. I like it. I mean, it's really neat to see it because we know that you know LS transplants aren't going away. <laughs> see guys now swapping out LS1s and putting the LS3 in, yep. you know, because LS3 is becoming readily available and affordable, you know, because now the LT's out. So and, I mean, you know. that's, that's one of the reasons why we brought this to the market is because the demand was there. We we had our EFI systems and we a lot of people were asking for a, you know, a management system for the LS. And 
being that they're so popular and they're, they're going to be around, like you said, for a while, I mean, this is naturally what we had to do. Yeah, it's really neat. Yeah. Like I said, I got I to call my buddy. I think I'll probably buy two right away. Yeah, right. So if you guys <laughs> check, um, we actually are selling these direct on our website we, you know, right now. So go ahead, check it out. And if you need any more information, hit the website as well, too. Yeah, I mean, or just drop a comment. I'll make sure to, uh, to answer. Do we have any uh, questions on the, on the feed no, today? No, no questions yet. We're just Nothing. getting a lot of hellos and a lot of, like, you know, muscle arms. Oh, awesome. Looking good. <laughs> That pretty much covers everything. Yeah. You got anything else? No, already? I think that's it. Like I said, check it out. ULS guys, this is this is an easy solution. And just remember, it's actually available on our website now, live, so you can buy direct from us. Awesome. So uh, this is Eric and uh, Eric and Eddie. We're <laughs> signing off. See you guys next week. All right, take it easy.